Hey guys, uh, I am <coughs> that foreigner and uh, tonight we're eating camel meat at this place here Aldoban Land Restaurant uh, and I'm meeting my friend Zach here uh, so just now it's Ramadan so this is Iftar uh, dinner so he's been fasting all day he'll be hungry, he'll be ready for it I'm not uh, overly hungry um, I haven't been fasting, I've been kind of snacking all day uh, but I'm not Muslim, so please don't judge me. Let's check out the restaurant. Uh, this is inside the restaurant. So here they have like uh, different areas. Hi bro. Good, how are you? Let's take a video. So this is the buffet inside. Uh, same as uh, outside, yeah? And they have uh, private rooms. So I'm just waiting on Zach. It's now uh, 6.15. We arranged to meet at 6.15. Uh, so when you come in, they give you uh, they give you this. This is uh, looks like Laban, which is like a yogurt drink, a water. We also have some nice uh, Omani dates. Uh, so it's pretty busy, guys. Um, if you look, you'll see it's pretty full, uh, even outside. So, um, luckily we made a reservation. Um, I'm looking forward to this camel meat because um, I read the reviews on uh, uh, this restaurant and it said uh, the camel meat here is uh, the best. So, if you um, stick around to the end of this video, I'll show you something special. Uh, but check out the view here, guys from this table here outside the restaurant. Absolutely fantastic. The sun's just going down, so uh, we'll be eating soon. So I didn't realize this actually when I booked it, but it's a uh, buffet. You can see um, uh, the buffet inside there. They have a separate buffet for the, the women folk and the men's buffet. It's just over there. Zach's arrived and uh, you saw the buffet there but uh, I want to ask you about the camels here in Oman like obviously they're working animals yeah but they're also considered like a delicacy as well what is delicacy like ah, special yes 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 special, special. Uh, three times actually one is for just for the racing and one it is for food, they keep like three types. And one ah, it is okay. for just... Uh, so different? Yeah. <coughs> what about the ones that are owned by the Bedouins in the desert? Yeah, it's there, but they are keep three. More expensive for racing, and for if you want uh, for testing food, they always almost age like from six months to one year. <coughs> the okay. Best and is it the same in uh, Dubai? In Dubai. Yeah, yeah, same. Same? Same. Okay. But uh, looking is same, but for racing is different, different, like type. Mm. Some is come little big or more strong. Like uh, we can see the cow, it's different, Holland. Mm. Okay, same, but okay. almost the same. So the buffet cost uh, five real. Uh, they have uh, salads. Uh, they have like. Um, uh, Obviously, you saw in the in the video there. They have um, chicken, sweet uh, camel. They also have uh, desserts as well, umali, uh, which is nice. So maybe try that later. So I want to try the camel here. Hmm. Oh. You know what it tastes like? It tastes like uh, beef stew. Oh. Yeah. Like, um, yeah, it's like a beef stew. Mmm. Wow. So maybe here's the best one to do for cooking. Mmm. 
That's fantastic. Yeah. Really good. So I've also got <clears throat> some rice, samosa, and this is chicken. So five real, I think. Um, I think five real is uh, quite reasonable. And uh, it's a nice place here. Like I say, if you stick around till the end, I'll show you uh, something a bit special. So I would say the um, the meat, the camel meat, is um, it's quite strong, very rich, very gamey. Um, it's delicious. Really nice. I think if uh, if you're a Westerner and you tried it, you would like it. So um, I, I actually tried it one time before, um, but it wasn't at this place. It was somewhere different. Uh, but uh, the camel here, wow, absolutely superb. Um, I can't remember the name of the the previous uh, restaurant I was in. Um, a long time ago, maybe three or four years ago. Um, but it was, I mean, it was nice, but it wasn't. Uh, as nice as this. Of, uh, Umali up there, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Umali. So is this um, this is one of the um, good places to have the camel meat. It's uh, well known for it, is it? That people know about this place. Yeah, yeah, they know. Yeah. Because this, they have more than brunch. Mm. Oh, they have more than one. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So one of the the other food they have here is called Haris. It's very famous. It's made from wheat berries. Is it? Yeah. Mm. You can make it with lamb or mutton or chicken. Or chicken. Yeah. But not this. I don't know how to describe the taste. Uh, see? No, no sweet. Not sweet. No, it's um. It's like a, a rice porridge, congee. Uh, we used to call it, or in the Philippines you would call it the gal. I'm going to try the dessert. They have a very famous one here called Umali. It's uh, really good. This is it here. This is the Umali. I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> It's like a cross between sort of uh, rice pudding and bread pudding. Mm. Oh my god, it's very sweet. It's got raisins, sultanas. It's hot. Some, uh, I think, almond nuts. Wow. <laughs> it's just actually one of the best ones I've tried. So, right behind the restaurant, uh, this is what I was telling you about at the beginning. Uh, check this out guys, it really is uh, spectacular. This is Alamine Mosque and you can see this uh, from all over Muscat. It's uh, between sort of Bowser and Gubra and it sits up on a hill and at night time if you're driving past on the, on the other side of the the mosque, you've got the expressway. Uh, it's beautiful, it's all lit up at night. Really is nice. <laughs>